Hey what's up everyone, Enan here from Udroid Mania, and I've got a special series of upcoming reviews thanks to Simo Technologies. I'm going to be starting with the stone armor case for the iPhone 6. They were nice enough to send out several cases for me to review and even some extras for me to share. So make sure that you stick around to the end of this video and I'll give you some information on my upcoming giveaway. Before starting the video, I went ahead and removed the packaging since it was rather minimal, just so we can get right into it. As I mentioned, this is the stone armor case from Simo, and it comes in pink, purple, and white. You'll notice here that this is a two-part case. It's made from a premium silicone and polycarbonate, so you'll have some shock and shatter protection, which is always a good thing when it comes to iPhones. Installation is very easy. Simply remove the silicone and put that on first, making sure that the phone is fully covered. Next, apply the polycarbonate backing, and I start with the right side since I found that to be the easiest since this case has such a tight fit, and that's a good thing. Make sure that the lip lines up with the side of the backing, and there you have it. How's it look? Ladies? Guys? I think this is a nice case for that special someone, and it really feels nice in the hand. It has almost a leather-like feeling, plus it's got a little bling on it. Of course, I checked out access to the ports. And initially it was a little difficult to get the headphone jack in, you just need to press firmly. When it comes to the lightning port, no issues there, it slides right in. Let's continue on taking a look around this case and we'll go to the volume and power buttons next. To me, the iPhone 6 buttons are pretty clicky and you'll continue to feel the same thing using this case. As you can see here, the volume up and down buttons respond as normal and well. When it comes to the power button, you'll be happy to know that it responds just the same. Let's move on to the back of the case and you'll see here that there's ample room around the camera, mic and flash, along with a nice cutout to show off that Apple logo. This case also has a lip around the bezel for lay on the table support, and I typically never place my phone face down, but it's nice to know that it's there and that the display doesn't touch the table. So let's take one last look at this case. I think that it's really nice. I like how it feels in the hand and it offers some drop protection and style at the same time. It has a nice tight fit on the phone, yet it's inexpensive. It comes in at just under $10, making it affordable. And overall, I think the quality here is quite nice. You can find it on the SEMO website and I'll leave the link down below so that you can head on over. The holidays are coming up and this case may be something that you want to get for yourself or that special someone. Okay, and the moments here that some of you have been waiting for. As you can see here, I have quite a bit of cases on hand from SEMO, so make sure that you stick around for this series. I plan to have all but the Galaxy Note 4 case reviews completed within the next week. I've got to wait for that to be available on AT&T. Next Sunday, October 5th, 2014, I'd like to announce a massive case giveaway. There'll be SEMO cases included as well as several from my own collection, so make sure that you subscribe now to be a part of the giveaway, and the rules for the giveaway will be provided next week. Alright, so there you have it. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.